Here, I've got a basic flowchart that I made in Gliffy. In this case, lines show us the flow of what a user experiences while they're shopping on a specific site. I drew all these lines just by dragging and dropping shapes onto the canvas and using the connector tool to draw the connections between them. You can tell that your line is linking to these shapes properly when this green circle appears. Then you can use edit line properties to change the endpoints of the line to the arrow type of relationship that you want to describe. So I'll switch that back. Great. You might have noticed that in the toolbar there are two types of line drawing tools. When you use this connector tool, it creates a line that will bend and move as you drag and drop your shapes around. If you use the straight line tool, it locks it to a straight line. And you can always change the line type here by going to this edit properties panel and then changing the type to a straight, a rounded corner, a 90 degree corner, or a curved line type. So this is that curved line type as I move these shapes around. If you want to add text to a line, all you need to do is click on that line and start typing to give it a label. From there, you can drag it around on the line, or you can click this edit text properties to make it bold or change the size. So those are the basics, but let's tweak my diagram up top to show you some more options. Let's say that I've noticed a lot of my users are going back to shopping instead of completing this confirm and checkout step. And I wanna draw that into my diagram. To do that, I'll use this connector tool and drag out a line. As you can see right now, it's that curved line type. And I'm going to edit that back to the rounded corners to fit the rest of my diagram. You can tell Gliffy is trying to draw this line in a way that it stays out of the way of what else you have on your drawing canvas. But let's say for whatever reason, I drew my diagram like this. That's where this hop type feature comes in handy. Right now I have it set to create a little gap wherever these overlap, but you could also do this jump style you could just have them crisscross like normal, or you could do a square jump. So that's another option. I think I'm gonna stick with this one, and then I don't want this to have the same priority as the other lines in my diagram. So I'm also gonna change the style and make it a dashed line. And I think I'm going to make it a lighter color as well. So that shows that it's happening in my diagram, but it's not necessarily part of the normal process. Now, there are some types of diagrams that call for specific notation to be used instead of these standard arrowheads that are offered. And so I'm going to show you where to access those as well. One example of this would be entity relationship diagrams. So I'm opening those shapes here. If you're making a diagram with these additional notation types, you can find the arrows that you need within the shape section for that diagram. So to use these, you just drag and drop them like you would a shape and then you can connect the endpoints as you need to, to the shapes in your diagram. You can still change the line weight and the color like any other line. They're just not tucked in under this connector tool because there are so many different options. And with that, that's everything you need to know about using lines and connectors in Gliffy. Be sure to check out our other tutorials to learn more about all the powerful features in our diagramming app.